Happening today, the man accused in the beating death of a two-year-old will once again face a judge. This time, Jonathan Persglove is looking to get out on bond. And it comes as we're getting a look at new evidence from the case that police are calling torture. Mark Lehman joins us live from the Orange County Courthouse. And Mark, you've been going through that evidence. What does it show? Yeah, the release by the state attorney's office includes detailed police reports and photos of the crime scene. But most importantly, for the first time, we're hearing from detectives as they interview the boy's mother and her boyfriend. Both are now facing charges in the toddler's death. During an interview with investigators, Jonathan Persglove describes the frantic moments when his girlfriend found her son unresponsive on the floor of his bedroom July 18th. She, she looked up at me and she's like, what do I do? And I was like, I don't know. So I got down and I started trying to do CPR because like, she's like, he's not breathing. Purse Club saying two-year-old Jace Martin was sick and throwing up when the boy's mother, Victoria Toth, put her son to bed. Bailey, he threw up and he went to go look for me and, and then he fell and then, I don't know. Maybe he was choking on it. He went to find me because he was freaking out. But questions began after bruises were discovered on the young child's body. Toth telling detectives she accidentally shut a door on her son and her boyfriend usually disciplined the toddler. Purse Glove saying the boy slipped in the shower. And then as soon as the water would like touch his head, he'd like, you know, he'd freak out. An autopsy later revealing Jace died from blunt force trauma to the abdomen that caused a life-threatening infection. Police arresting the couple and charging both with manslaughter. Both the boy's mother and her boyfriend uh, were, were bonded out of jail on those charges, but Purse Glove uh, was rearrested in November after drugs were found in his car during a traffic stop this morning. Uh, his attorney will be asking a judge for his release, and we will be at that hearing when it begins at 9. For now, reporting in Orlando, Mark Lehman, getting results, News 6.